Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, I'm going to answer a series of questions through videos tonight. And I'm going to use the SDR. I'm going to also use portable radios to answer some of the questions. So each question will have a video. I think it's going to be helpful to have them uh, on the channel so that people can relate to them if they need more information about shortwave radio. There is a need for a lot of knowledge uh, to to listen to shortwave. And um, so the first question is, what's the best international broadcast band? Um, it's an interesting question because the question goes with, is there one international broadcast band that you know has it all? where I'll hear most of the stations. And, of course, there are international broadcast bands that are more popular than others. But that said, the international broadcast bands differ from day to night. So there are definitely some that we'll mention are some of the best. But also at the same time, they're not 24 hours all around the best. It doesn't work like that. So we'll talk briefly about some of the bands. So uh, there's one in the 120-meter band, okay, first of all, which is kind of a tropical local band, uh, somewhere from like 2,300 to 2,500 kilohertz. You can pretty much forget this one. Uh, for most people, there won't be anything there except, um, you know, there's some marine broadcast a little higher. There's WWV on 2,500. There's a few things, but for the most part, you know what, um, this band is pretty much unused and if it is it's very very local uh, and this is really a nighttime band 90 meter band 90 meter band is um, we can actually say that it's from about 3200 roughly even 3150 all the way up to 3400 kilohertz this band is used by some broadcasters and also some tropical broadcasters, also some local broadcasters. So it's worth tuning around. This is mostly a nighttime band. So when the sun goes down until the sunrise, this is when most of the signals you'll hear on this band. As you see here, I've got a really strong signal right there, which is um, CHU. <laughs> Um, then we go, of course, then Europe. Um, you guys have one band, which is kind of the 75-meter band, that they call it. So from 3,900 to 4,000 kilohertz, uh, there are some broadcasters there. It's mostly in Europe, uh, but um, sometimes, especially in the wintertime, some of these signals might make it to North America. I've heard the BBC there, I've heard uh, KBS World Radio there, uh, Relayed, I've heard a few things over the years. It's worth checking out, um, mostly in the winter time for North America, of course, it's a um, mostly evening and nighttime band for Europe, where you'll have a lot of European broadcasts. Then you have the tropical 60 meter band, which is let's say centered around 5,000 kilohertz WWV. It starts roughly at um, the frequency of, I'll, I'll put it down to the frequency of 4,700 kilohertz uh, at the lowest point. And from there it will, so 4,700 kilohertz is right here on the scale. And we can put that uh, going up to about 5,100 50 kilohertz. So let's let's put it really large. It's larger. What I, I show here is larger than the reality, but it's where most of what you're going to get to hear. Uh, mostly late afternoon, nighttime, and uh, band. It will have, of course, some stations from um, local areas, but there are some broadcasts from you know South America, Central America. A few Africans are still there. It's worth checking out, especially late late afternoon. Um, Evening and night, this is when the action happens wherever you are. One of the top bands that we're going to talk about is the 49-meter band. 49-meter band used a lot. If I had to put one of the top bands, what would it be? 49 meters is one of the top bands that is definitely uh, being used by 
shortwave broadcasters. Around 50, you, know, you can like put it from about 5750, and even, even more, I'd put it at 5700 up to about 6200 kilohertz. It will contain in there the majority of the broadcast from around uh, the world. It is an international band, so this is going to give you signals from everywhere around the world. This has some stations local. For example, I've got this one here from CFRA, which is the uh, uh, station in Toronto uh, broadcasting CFRX. So CFRA is, of course, on 6970. Uh, 6070, sorry. And it's not very strong right now. This one I can hear almost 24 hours, but mostly in the daytime, very local. But the other signals, and a lot of the signals you hear uh, here are signals coming from all over the place. Uh, evening and night is great for this band. You'll receive signals from everywhere. I get uh, Europe easily, Africa easily on 49 meters, starting late afternoon, all evening and night. One of the most used international broadcast bands. There is another one which is the 41 meter band, um, pretty much from 7200 kilohertz all the way up. We're going to put it really large, all the way up to 7800 kilohertz, roughly, uh, because WRMI is out, uh, outside of the frequency range there. So this is an international broadcast band. It has one part where broadcasts are uh, permitted only in certain areas from 7200. Keep in mind, from 7200 to 7300, you'll be shared with amateur radio. So that could be some interference sometimes. But that's pretty much what you're going to get. It's, uh, pretty, it's, it's used a lot. Honestly, it's used a lot. So it's worth checking out this band because I think uh, you'll be surprised at what you can hear during uh, daytime sometimes, a little bit of daytime, more localized activity of radio to pretty good propagation nighttime uh, and evening and night. So uh, check it out. One of the very important shortwave bands, once again, uh, if we have to put a importance in the shortwave spectrum of what stations are from one band to the other, uh, would be the, <coughs> sorry guys, <clears throat> the um, 31 meter band. This one, you can put the frequency from about 90 to 50 all the way up to 10,000 kilohertz. It is one of the uh, most used bands, once again. It can be, and could have some activity, you know, in the daytime a little more localized, um, especially in, in places like Europe. But even here in North America, WRMI pretty much uses this 24 hours, so if you're not too far, there'll be some daytime stations there. And uh, in this band, we will have uh, most international broadcasters at any day and point during the day. Afternoons, late afternoons, evenings is very good for this band. And in the summertime, even nighttime, we'll have a lot of interesting signals. So it's a band to definitely scan through all the time, but mostly in the late afternoon to um, evening. Um, it is amazing, and all the pretty much all the major broadcasters use this band. Uh, one of the most used, 49 meters, uh, and this one, 31 meters. Almost every broadcaster is using it. So um, to make videos not too long, this is going to be part one. I'm going to do part two with the rest of the international broadcast bands. So check the next video after this one on the, on the channel so that um, the videos are, are not too long. Uh, for each. So this is part one, part two coming up next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.